Step 1. Review the data and plan the analysis. Before you create any neural nets, you should examine your data carefully and decide what you want to achieve. In this case, a company has a rather small data set, small by neural net standards, with 180 rows, where each row lists characteristics of a particular wine. The goal is to use the data in columns B to N to classify wines as one of three types, coded 1 to 3 as listed in column O. The potential independent variables in columns B to N are all numeric indicators of chemical properties of the wines, and the dependent variable in column O is categorical, even though it's coded numerically. Neural tools allows any combinations of numeric and categorical variables for the independent and dependent variables. Note that the values in column O for the first five cases are missing. As will be explained later, these five cases will be used for prediction. At this point, you could do some exploratory analysis on individual variables, such as finding their means and standard deviations, or creating histograms of them. You could also use Excel tools to do this summarizing, broken down by wine type. For example, you could check whether the mean and standard deviation of alcohol differ across wine types. Actually, you could use Stat Tools, another member of the Decision Tools suite, to perform such analysis quickly and easily. This preliminary analysis is not absolutely necessary. You can use neural tools directly, but it is always a good idea to learn as much as you can about your data. Note again that the dependent variable in this case is categorical, making this a classification problem. But neural tools also allows you to use a continuous numeric variable as the dependent variable, just as in multiple regression. For example, alcohol could be used as the dependent variable depending on the purpose of the analysis. In fact, neural tools then allows you to use linear regression for the estimation procedure. Now it's your turn. Take a close look at the data, possibly performing some of the exploratory analysis mentioned above. For example, check whether the mean and standard deviation of alcohol or of any of the other variables differ across wine types.